clearly Cindric and Team Penske had the information. They knew what they were dealing with. This was one circuit that the 2017 champion has not been victorious on. Up until now, Joseph Newgarden. He wins in St. Petersburg to get the 2019 season off to the best possible start. BMW in the GTLM class. He's got a Rolex wristwatch on his hand, on his arm. And now in this IndyCar for Harding Steinbrenner Racing, the team that was launched at Yankee Stadium last December. What a moment. It's been a story. It's been a fairy tale. This second generation driver now becomes the youngest to ever win in IndyCar. Colton Herta has done it. If you get the pole position here at Barber, about 50% of the time you're going to go on and win the race and that's going to be the case here. It will be his fourth career win and four different tracks. What a day for Takuma Sato. He wins for the first time Great at job, Barber buddy. Motorsports Great Park. Job, talk you. Have a race down to the final corner for the podium spot right here. No push to pass versus 22 seconds push to pass for Dixon. But Ray Hall was smart. He doesn't really need push to pass except for this back straight, which is pretty short. So if you're going to end up with zero, oh, Ray Hall locked his right front. Meanwhile, the checkered flag is out. The Acura winner, winner. Grand Prix back of back. Long Great Beach. Job. Oh, big block. He's won by Alexander Rossi, and here comes Scott Dixon. He's got a, one more chance at the hairpin. If he dives it down the inside and does the Robbie Gordon block pass, he's going to try. He's too far back. It's a drag race out of the hairpin. This is going to be tough. Not for a lack of trying from oh. Scott Dixon, though. There's the finish. And Graham Rahal, will he hang on? Dixon's going to try and draft it. Graham Budget that are punching above their weight. But nobody gets the headlines more than Simon Paginot today. This has been outstanding. The 34-year-old Frenchman, the champion of the series in 2016. He's still got the 500 on his list to check. Maybe he can do that in two weeks' time. But he's going to follow this unbelievably rich tradition of Roger Penske's team winning. Great job there, buddy. And Great Simon Pagano wins the Indy yeah, Grand Prix go, of Indianapolis. A in little bubble of clean air might help Rossi get a big run through turns one and two. Final lap, and it's a three-way shootout. Is Sato even in it? Here comes Rossi. Rossi is clawing Simon Pagano back out of turn two. Down the back stretch for the final time. And Pagano's trying to run away, and Rossi's not letting it happen. Still single file, looking outside. Rossi on the high line, he has outside, to tuck it back him. in. The short shoot. Clear by two. Rossi's going to have a massive draft on Simon Pagano. Into the home stretch, less Get than back. half a mile. Simon Pagano sweeps him up the May and Free wins. He's baby. made an Enter. Indy 500. Man. Coaching all the way around this final lap from Team Penske's Tim Sindrick to his driver, Joseph Newgarden, the championship leader. He's only had two top five results here in many races. Now he's going to shoot all the way to the top. What a run from Joseph Newgarden. Perfectly timed pit stop. It was convenient that the yellow came out at a handy time. And now Joseph Newgarden is on his way to the checkered flag and outright championship lead. Your flag there, bud. Newgarden nice drive, man. Really good. Cool to see Scott do that. But as his team boss, Chip Ganassi, told us on the grid pre-race, Scott is unbelievably strong psychologically. He had already demonstrated that he had forgotten about that. He had wiped that from his mind, and he was focusing forward to this race today, where he has been unbelievably strong. He's led 43 laps. The checkered flag is there for Dixon in Detroit. He wins race two of this duel in Detroit. Started seventh and was well, running around well. seventh and eighth all race long. A terrific call from Tim Sindrick, the president of Team Penske. And then Joseph has done the rest up front, out in front, under the lights. Wins in Texas. There. Joseph Newgarden, man. championship yeah, leader. And climbs the hill one last time. This has been something special. We told you right in the pre-race show, this young American star was sick of finishing second. There's no way he's second today. He wins at Road nice America. Nice Alexander well Rossi victorious job, in Jeremy. Wisconsin. Excellent. Thanks.
will power into oh, the tires. Not good, and he's going to be stuck. Maybe. Boy, that's an authority in reverse. I've never seen that. That will break a gear in reverse, and that's right by the right by the last couple of corners. Will that be an issue as we come down to the end? They're one corner away from the corners. Full course yellow. Full course yellow. Get flag out from pole position to victory lane. Simon Pagano wins in Toronto for the very first time. But boy, talk about turning frustration into glory and satisfaction. Less than a mile to go for Joseph Newgarden. He has led 244 laps tonight in what has been a superb driving performance from the championship leader. He's already got three wins this year. He kicked it off at the season opener. He won in Detroit, he won in Texas, and he wins here in Iowa. He's out of tires, but I don't think I don't think he can handle it. Three more turns to go. Championship points at stake. And rims at stake. Felix Rosenquist has a couple of more corners. His veteran teammate, Scott Dixon, trying to hold him off one more time. Final corner. Dixon wiggles to the line. Rosenquist on his gearbox, dives into the side. Well done there, Scott. Scott job, Dixon man. will win. Under caution here at Pocono. And the moisture. There's... there's that is the reason right now. 15 straight wins now. Will Powers won an IndyCar race. There, he's got a nice run coming off the corner. Does he go for it? <laughs> coming to the white flag. One, one to go. A, one and a quarter miles left in this race. Under the lights, the final oval of 2019. Perucci's got a run coming off the turn two. He's right there. Kanan blocks. Oh, he's going to make him go in the gray. Oh, this could be, be disastrous. Backs out of it. Oh, oh no. he's going to lose it. Hold on, hold on. The checkered flag is waiting. Is it? Is it Sato? Is it Carpenter? It's going to be close. It's Takuma Sato. What a day. It started with a bang, a huge one, with a massive crash in turn one, with some five and six cars involved in it. Will Power kept his nose clean. He was able to move ahead of that not got collected in it and has constructed a really clever race win. He's not really in the title hunt anymore, but he is a race winner Great again. Great job, buddy. Great job, man. Terrific. Will Power wins in Portland for the very first time. Oh. With some mechanical DNFs, with some crashes, stuff that's gone on that hasn't, has not been his fault, but what a way to put a period on your rookie season. Power has one last lunge at him. But to add to the circuit of the Americas win, Colton Herta wins at a track where he's dead. Great job, buddy. The yeah, yeah, way yeah, from yeah. Awesome win for the Harding Steinbrenner team and Colton Herta. And further up the hill, we pick up the Hitachi Chevrolet of Joseph Newgarden. He was a champion in 2017. Joseph Newgarden is the 2019 champion. He's done everything he needed to do and comes across the line with a 25-point